Hi guys, just wanted to speak to you about my experience at the Rural Youth Project 2019 festival. Yeah, so I suppose my experience was a, a very kind of warm atmosphere, a very, uh, very interesting uh, range of people you meet when you get there. And everyone's so friendly, so lovely. And uh, and they're all just there to, um, to help and uh, find answers to potentially uh, problems that they're having, the problems in the local area, especially where rurality is concerned. We had a lot of fun as well, a lot of dancing, uh, a couple of drinks. Some amazing activities, uh, team building work, outdoor activities as well. Even though it was in November and it was very cold, we got talked into doing sunrise walk up to the neighbouring hill at about 6 in the morning. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not getting any of the footage that I shot there. Uh, that's all on my work computer. Uh, and because of lockdown at the moment, I'm not able, to, uh, not able to show you any of that. But we did get some nice pictures up there and some videos of, uh, of the dancing, the Kayla dancing, uh, at the celebration at the end of the festival. All we've got is this. <laughs> dancing in our wee log cabin but yeah it was all around great fun and uh, very inspirational so i think my biggest takeaway from the festival was probably there's always a solution to the problem that you're having you just need to you just need to look for it and i suppose be in a place yourself where you're ready to kind of look for the solution to that problem we I mean, had some amazing speakers that are really motivational on how to even changing small things in your life, how that can then gear you up to take on uh, bigger challenges uh, to potentially help other people or, uh, or get something started. So I find that really interesting. I've never made that link before. The honesty that people had and what everyone brought to the table, it was really nice. It was really refreshing to be able to, to be able to get that. And I think especially for times like now, it's so crucial to have that, um, that attitude of positivity and wanting to, wanting to help people through things and help people make a difference in the world, I think it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's infectious, pardon the, pardon the use of the term. But at the moment, uh, life in lockdown for me, uh, yeah, I suppose it's, um, it's interesting, definitely. I recently uh, moved out during the start of the lockdown. That was, uh, that was quite challenging, but at the moment, uh, we're running our youth space uh, digital competition. I've used a lot of the a lot of the ideas and the mantras and the feel good messages. I suppose kind of some of the techniques for being able to engage young people online and I suppose give them opportunities. So um, I think I've taken a lot from the Rural Youth Festival in that respect of uh, tips, tricks, little things on how to make positive changes in your life, and I can start to see that coming through in the work that I'm doing. So I just wanted to say thank you very much to uh, the Rural Youth Project, Jane. Lana, Rebecca, yeah, thank you so much for uh, for being such a good team and bringing everyone together because it's now spawned this, uh, I suppose, international community of uh, young people who work rurally and want to want to make the best for themselves and other people around them. So I think uh, it's an incredibly positive thing that you're doing, and I do apologise for losing the footage. Anyway, all the best. Uh, stay safe, and um, yeah, we'll hopefully catch you at the at the next one.